Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna pick up where we left off from the muscle excitation video and talk about what happens after calcimer is released and what occurs during these stages of muscle contraction. Now the first thing to focus on here is going to be what are the proteins involved? There are two regulatory proteins, troponin and tromyosin, and two contractile proteins, actin and myosin. Troponin, shown in orange, is going to be holding tromyosin, shown in purple, in place. And importantly, at rest, tromyosin is going to block the binding sites of myosin on actin so that way no contraction can occur. You can think of troponin as the staples and tromyosin as the wire that wraps around actin, preventing contraction. The only thing that can change troponin's shape and activate it, as you might say, is going to be calcium. And once calcium binds, it alters it, which allows tromycin to move out of the way, and therefore myosin can bind to actin, and you can get contraction. Now, the key takeaway here is the fact that no calcium, no contraction. And you don't get calcium unless you have acetylcholine. Now, for actin and myosin, actin is the thin filament that gets moved, and myosin is going to be the thick filament, and myosin is that motor protein. So myosin is the protein that is actually moving, and it's moving actin during contraction. Now, the last thing to make note of here is the fact that there is an ATP and a phosphate bound to that myosin. Now, that comes from a, an ATP that had attached at the very, very end of the previous contraction cycle. And once it binds to the ATP binding site on myosin, it gets broken down because it is also an ATPase. And anytime you break down a phosphate bond, you energize that structure, in this case, the myosin head. So essentially, at the start of any muscle contraction cycle, the myosin is cocked, it's energized, it is ready to contract as long as the binding sites are available on actin. Now, the first step, like I said, is you have a bunch of calcium present as a result of muscle excitation. And once calcium is present, it's going to bind to troponin, which is going to alter its shape. And when you alter its shape, that is going to allow tropomyosin to move out of the way. You can think of it as sliding off, okay? And troponin's still there also, but again, it's altered, so tromycin is now out of the way. And what this means is this means that myosin can now bind to actin. Now, at first, it's going to bind lightly, but then it's going to build this really firm, almost handshake, analogy um, kind of structure. So you can think of it as you grab someone's hand lightly at first and then you really start gripping hard and shaking that person's hand. That's essentially what myosin is going to be doing here. Now all along, ADP is still there and so is the phosphate. However, once that bond, that really strong bond between actin and myosin is formed, this phosphate gets flung off. And when that phosphate gets flung off, that is the trigger. That is the trigger for the power stroke. And the power stroke is muscle contraction. So what that ends up being is it ends up looking such that it is bound, and then once that phosphate gets flung off, it is going to trigger that myosin, almost like a mouse trap, to fling towards the M line, towards the middle of that myofibril. So it kind of will fling like so, and when it does that, it is going to move actin, and it is going to move actin in this direction, so towards the middle of that myofibril. And this is the initial contraction. Now, what we'll do here, 
I'll draw what it looks like. So it's going to look something like this, where you can kind of see that the actin has essentially slid over towards the left. And that's because myosin had grabbed it and pulled it over itself. And once it does this, once it finishes that power stroke, that is going to be, you can think of it almost as a trigger for the ADP to lead and fling off. So here you can think of it as, again, myosin binding to actin for the first time. As soon as it does that, the phosphate flings off, which triggers the power stroke. And once the power stroke concludes, the ADP leaves. Now, once the ADP leaves, you have an open ATP binding site on the myosin. And what that's going to cause is a new ATP will come in and take its place. And once it does that, it is going to be broken down back to the ADP and the phosphate. And assuming that there is no more calcium, you will end up going back to something like this, where a troponin is holding tromyosin back in place. The myosin is cocked and energized, but not attached to actin because the tromyosin is blocking the site, and you're back to rest, ready for another muscle contraction. Now, something really important here is one cycle, the cycle I just walked you through, moves the filaments about 10 nanometers. That is roughly 1% of the overall contraction that your muscle could possibly do. Now, obviously, this never happens with any contractions we do. So how do you get the enough muscle contraction to lift a weight, to pick a book, to hold someone's hand, to shake someone's hand, what have you? Well, you need to get multiple cycles. So you need to get this cycle that I just went through multiple times. And as long as you're having action potential sent to the skeletal muscle and having calcium released in pulses, you're going to end up being able to have troponin and tromyosin moving out of the way, myosin actin binding, power stroke, repeat, 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 and you get the whole muscle contraction and the strength that is necessary. Now, this ends pretty much all the details that we're going to go through for muscle excitation and muscle contraction. If you have further questions on this, there are a lot of great sources out there. By all means, come to office hours. I can walk you through all this on my dry erase board. I will be happy to answer any questions um, about details we went through in class or even details that we have not gone through in class. Please do not hesitate to come ask me.